Hi guys, just Janice, <clears throat> and today we're going to be playing with some alcohol inks. I need to make a background in some really bright colors for another project I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be using a DaVinci Pro panel, the Ultra Smooth panels. This is an 11 by 14, it's the 2 inch. And um, our dear friend Clara Lawrence she works with alcohol inks resins and she does all kinds of fun stuff with her dragons and she's also done she's put the masking fluid down made beautiful backgrounds and i thought you know what i've been wanting to revisit that i'm going to try it again so first i'm going to i use the um the daniel smith masking fluid i also use the uh fine line one but this is the one I had. They both stink. So, I mean, not stink as in bad product. They smell terrible. So, first I'm going to put some stuff down, let that dry, and then I'm going to come back in, do the alcohol inks all over, and let it all dry. And then we're going to have fun peeling this stuff back off. So, um, in the description, I'm going to put Clara's link to the live she did where she showed people how to use, how she does it. And then, um, please, if you can, our dear friend, Clara Lawrence, she's dealing with um, some cancer and she's made it public. And please, if send up some positive thoughts, prayers. She's a wonderful human being and she's positive and she's fun and She's getting through this, and with our love, she's going to do this. So, here we go. fingers on there but that's okay um I'm gonna be using all the bright colors I've got a couple blues I've got pinata Baja blue and sapphire blue I've got pinata lime green but I've also got Rangers limeade I'm gonna use a purple Rangers boysenberry and I got a pink I've got fiesta I've also got brass in my little bottle, 50-50, with the isopropyl alcohol, the 91%. And I'm going to be using the 91% alcohol to move it around. And I'm going to be using my... My little handy-dandy blower. So, 
here we go. Okay, I kind of have things where I want them, but it's going to kind of get kind of covered up, but that's okay because that'll be the next step, but let's get peeling.
done and done ish. Um, got everything peeled off. There's was some bleeding here, but that's okay. Once I get it covered up, you can see where <clears throat> it bled a little bit under. And but if that part is showing after I spray it with the Kamar and get the stuff on top of it that I'm going to be putting on top of it. If it's still showing, I will take my white Posca and I will cover that pink up and make the line bright again. But, I mean, this is fun. It's simple. I got some gold in there. But it's just kind of part one and I think part two will be probably after the first of the year. But thanks for watching and being here on our Thursday morning launch. Right after me is art by Julie E. Stick around. She's got something beautiful for you. And if we don't see you, have a Merry Christmas. Um, there's lots going on. There's the Fluid Art Express this weekend. The collaboration. There is Nate's Art Lab coll collaboration coming up. And it's going to be really tasty and very yummy so thanks for watching and wherever you are have a great morning afternoon evening night and see you soon bye